Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Well, we all now want to own a drone for capturing some beautiful cinematic moments from the sky. And now the Indian government has came up with the new rules for flying drones in India. Keep watching this video till the end as I'll be sharing 10 big changes you need to know before buying and flying a drone in India. The government is making it easier for drone manufacturers, operators and startups to boost adoption of drones across India. It has repealed the unmanned aircraft system which stand as UAS rules with the 2021 and has introduced liberalized drone rules 2021. The government feels that India has the potential to be a global drone hub by 2030. While the startups are already gearing up to use drones for delivering food and medicine, it can also be beneficial for agriculture, mining, infrastructure, surveillance and law enforcement. Here's what the change is happening. Number one. What is the one big change for drones in India? Well, the startups and drone operators will no longer have to go through complex approval process and the entire system is now based on self-certification and non institute monitoring. The Digital Sky website will be used for all approvals, certification, etc. And most permission will be self-generated. All details about drones will be available on Digital Sky website. Number two, where we can fly drones without any permission? Obviously, this is one question is always coming into our mind while buying a drone. So Digital Sky website will now have an interactive airspace map. The map will come with green, yellow and red zones. No permission is required for operating drones in green zone. Green zone means the airspace up to a vertical distance of 400 feet or 180 meter that has not been designated as a red zone or yellow zone in the airspace map and the airspace up to vertical distance of 200 feet or 60 meter above the area located between a lateral distance of 8 to 12 kilometer from the perimeter of operational airport. On the other hand, the yellow zone is reduced from 45 km to 12 km from the airport perimeter. Well, the main question which always come in our mind is how can you learn to be a drone pilot? Well, if you wish to be a drone pilot, then you should be trained from a training center authorized by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation DGCA. You need to have a proper documents and will have to register as a remote pilot to obtain your pilot identification number an unmanned aircraft operator permit. These details are obviously available on Digital Sky website. The required eligibility criteria are basic. You need to be at least 18 years of age and pass 10th standard in English before you can join any training institute to become a drone pilot. Well now, fourth. Well, this is the question which always come in my mind when we are buying a drone. So what are the categories of drones in India? So this category has been defined into five. So nano, which is less than or equal to 250 gram, micro, greater than 250 gram and less than or equal to 2 kg, small, well, greater than 2 kg and less than or equal to 25 kg, medium, greater than 25 kg and less than or equal to 150 kg and the larger one, which is greater than 150 kg. Number five, who needs permission to fly drones and who doesn't? Well, nano drones, which are less than 250 gram, are exempted from obtaining UIN and UAOP. Also, no remote pilot license is required for microdone for non-commercial use. Also, per the new rules, there is no requirement for security clearance before issuance of any registration or license. You need to ensure that you do not fly it beyond 50 feet, which is 15 meters at the ground level. All other drone operation in India require UIN and UAOP. No requirement of type certificate unit identification number and remote pilot license by R&D entities operating drones in own or rented premises located in a green zone. Well, the remote pilot license will be issued by DGCA within 15 days of pilot receiving the remote pilot certificate from the authorized drone school through the Digital Sky platform. Number six. Well, how will the new rules affect drones that are already being used in India? So drones that are present in India on or before 30th November 2021 will be issued a unique identification number through the Digital Sky platform provided. They have a DAN, a GST paid invoice and are part of the list of DGCA approved drones. As per the new rules, standard operating procedures and training procedure manuals will be prescribed by DGCA on the Digital Sky platform and self-monitoring by users. No approvals required unless there is a significant departure from the prescribed procedures. Number seven, what about drone delivery? Well, the government said the drone corridors will be developed for cargo deliveries. Safety and security measures like no permission, no takeoff, 
real time tracking beacon geofencing etc to be notified in future a 6 month lead time will be provided to the industry for compliance number 8 so as i mentioned before the starting of this video what approvals and certification have been removed from drones in india well the government has removed many approval certificates required for flying drones like unique authorization number unique prototype identification number certificate of manufacturing airworthiness certificate of conformance certificate of maintenance import clearance acceptance of existing drones operator permit authorization of r&d organization student remote pilot license remote pilot instructor authorization and drone port authorization number 9 What are the changes in fees and approvals? Well, the number of approval form is reduced from 25 to 5, and the type of fee reduced from 72 to 4. The fee for a remote pilot license fee has been reduced from 3,000 for large drones to 100 for all categories of drone, and is valid for 10 years. Last and final change number 10. What about importing drones from other country? The import of drones to be regulated by DGFT. However, there is no restriction on foreign ownership. in indian drone companies also the requirement of import clearance from dgca is now abolished coverage of drones under drone rule 2021 increased from 300 kg to 500 kg this will cover drone taxis also is also well that concludes the entire details about the 10 major changes which has happened to new drone regulations in india if you like the video press the like button share it with your friends who are planning to buy drones or existing owner of a drone share it with them enjoy uh, the channel and please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you